finally, after a million years, we have got, where's the other one? Fully open, oh there I am, <laughs> Hoya Bella Blooms, which is very, very exciting. So pretty, they do look like little sweets and they smell like, um, nothing. Hi guys, today we're doing a repot with me. I'm gonna repot this Syngonium, <laughs> It's a Syngonium, I can't remember what type. This is the Podophyllum, the really common one. I'm sorry. I think you're beautiful. And this um, Schleflera? Schleflera? Yes, that. Uh, so the Syngonium is in Lekka and I really, really don't wanna change the pot. So I'm gonna see if I can just kind of move the roots, but I really don't think that's going to happen. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put that one over there for now. So I believe this is still, yes it is. So a uh, tropical plant, three pounds from Morrison's. This is the, oh, oh, she's ready. <laughs> um, there's also roots coming out of the top. There's a little root there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pop this. Hmm. No, change my mind. I'm gonna See if I can repot this in the same pot. And if I can't, are you ready? <laughs> I left it a bit long. If I can't, um, then the Schleflera, Schleflera, Schleflera can move into this pot because it has a white pot that it fits into. So, what can I use to carry, hold my lacquer? Oh. Bottom of a propagation box, that'll do. I'm gonna move my glass of water. Did anybody see the syngonium get in my glass of water? Excuse the noise. Oh my god, this isn't going to come out. This is why you shouldn't wait this long. Oh, I'm so sorry. In the pot that's a waste of a good pot the roots will grow back the pot won't dude what are you doing i'm sorry it's not your fault Definitely going in the same pot. I don't even think it needs any more lacquer. Because these are all like water roots, it doesn't really need a lot of space. There's plenty of, like there's loads of new growth around the bottom. So it's perfectly healthy, kind of. So I think I'm just gonna, I've got some clean lacquer here. I'm just gonna put a bit in the bottom. Yeah, I know, right. It's gonna grow out of this in seconds. But I don't care. He fits in the pot nicely. I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't have a pot for the Schlaf for the Schlaflera, but um, I don't really care. There is a little bit of rot like on the top where it's got grim. I'm just gonna clear that off. Do I have a bin? Yeah. 
Over here. I'm too lazy for Blanca, like this much is clear. Just like, painting pots are complicated enough. Gross enough, but you can't see, so who cares? Right, so now I need another pot for the Schlafflera. Schlafflera? I don't like potting them up too big, but uh, as you can see, he's, you know, his roots are fine. These are actually really nice roots. Proud of you. So, going to pick this pot. Which used to be a mixed calathea. Reduced from £22 to a tenner. Can't think what that would be. I've got a lot of unhealthy, I buy a lot of unhealthy calatheas, so could have been any of them. Anyway. Somebody's making a noise downstairs. I'm assuming it's going to be one of the rabbits. Right. When I repot, oh god, soil everywhere. When I repot plants, what I like to do is put soil in so it so you can sit the old pot on top like that, and then I infill. How do people manage plant care before vacuum cleaners? Like the Victorians were mad on plants. They must have just have very soily houses. My monstera has gone out for winter. No, the other one, summer. Um, he's put out two new leaves. We're very excited. They have burnt, but that's kind of to be expected because he's not quite used to it yet, even though he is in the shade. So I'm not that fussed. But it comes out so quickly, like, it doesn't really matter. They'll put out new leaves so that won't be burnt. So when you're repotting plants, the idea is, do you know, filming YouTube videos is brilliant for the cleanliness of your house because, well, I suppose plant, plant videos anyway, um, because I really have to vacuum after this. And once I've got the vacuum cleaner out, I may as well do the, do the whole house. I don't like the, getting the vacuum cleaner out like little and often because my rabbit's terrified of it. She's not scared of the noise and the way she behaves, she's actually scared of the cord. You know when you like pull the when you're vacuuming and the cord moves obviously she hates it and I can only think that it's like in a little rabbit brain she's like that's a snake it's the only thing I can think of she really hates it so I don't like to do it too often seriously look messy Right, that'll do. And then we just do this. I don't know. I don't know. See, she's not root bound, root bound, like, she'd be alright, but because I tend to bottom water the roots and roots move towards water, I do tend to get a lot of this happening. So, and they would prefer to be in the dark. So, there she is, nice and repotted. And I'm just gonna pop her in this 
I'll add this blanket in the water there. And then she can just bottom water. Okay. And hopefully that will make her like her new house a little bit more. So one of the things you can do when you're repotting is um, wait until the plant is quite dry and repot into moist soil. That way the roots are more likely to travel towards the moist soil rather than just like stay in the original pot. Especially if you've got a little bit of root bound going on and it's starting to circle the pot. They will keep going in the way that they were. So they'll keep going around in a circle unless you can tempt them out into the um, new soil. I was going to do like a little garden tour because I've started growing veg this year and I've got some tomatoes, peppers, onions, other stuff. But my next door neighbours are out there and um, I'm not quite in the filming in front of other people quite yet. Even though I'm pretty sure they can hear me, which is quite unsettling. We get used to it. But it is absolutely gorgeous here today. It's a beautiful day and my garden is looking garden -y. And we also have the added issue. It's not an issue, but it is like when you're, when you're filming it is a concern. What's that? We've got baby blackbirds in the garden and I don't know if this is just our blackbirds or all blackbirds but they have however many babies and there's always one that's a needy little shit and it just hangs around the garden all the time and one year, last year, it actually used to hang around my boyfriend when he was gardening and it sat on his hand. So we try and avoid the garden because we don't want the blackbird to become tame. And also it really, really pisses off his mum and dad and they just sit on the fence and scream at him. I assume screaming, please get away from those humans, they're not safe. So we're just trying to keep away. Oh, the dad's sat in the tree now, the baby will be. Yeah, I've got a fern and it's got a, it's sat in a saucer and you get rain in the saucer and the baby likes to drink out of that. I don't know where the other babies go, but they had, like, like I said last year, they had a really needy one. So I don't know if that's just like, there's always one that they take more care of. <laughs> like the first one but um yeah just a little growth update on this begonia so this was a cutting from a friend and she is looking this is a new leaf and she's looking really good some of the plants really like the move um up into my office a lot of them really hated it like my rifidophora tetrasperma really hated it um please excuse all the crap at the bottom of the stairs Hello, it's coming to bug you. Oh no. I've got a new tiny leaf on my Anthurium. There's a, it's an Anthurium clarinervium. I, I need to start finishing work sentences before I start. There's also a bloom here. The one in Lekka is doing okay. There is like, so this here, a bit of new growth but it seems to just keep aborting and then not doing anything so i should really get it out and check the roots because there's one here Ooh, that's, yeah that's um gross so i really should check it but i um oh do you know what? i could just do it now couldn't i come on upstairs i'll leave you alone now holly I mean, whilst I've got it, whilst we're here, see a bit of mineral build up on there. So I've had a look at the Clarinervian roots and they're looking fine actually, but look at the colour of the new leaf. How cool is that? No, I'm colour blind. So feel free to comment saying, Caroline, that's green, you idiot. But to me, it looks like a, like a corally pink. And we like, which is funny because there's no like, again, colour blind. These could be bright pink for all I know. We don't like this. Oh my God. <laughs> but that's okay. So when I bought this plant, I got a cheap because she was like infested with aphids, but she's shaken them off. So we're proud of her for that. I hope you enjoyed this impromptu little vloggy type repot with me. I won't lie, I do use these videos as an excuse to get plant stuff done, which I wouldn't normally because it's not that I don't have time. 
I like looking at my plants and like checking for new growth and stuff but when it comes to like messy tasks I'm like ah, I can't be bothered but um got it done there's lacquer and soil all over both my patio and my office carpet so I'll spend the next half an hour cleaning but that's okay because then when I come to edit the house will be tidy and that's nice isn't it and you know if I can clean the house on work time perfect so yeah, I will see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.